Hi guys, Andy here, and today we are playing Final Girls. Uh, I've already played it before, but my recording screwed up, so I'm gonna do it all over again. So let's see, uh, let's see how this goes. Ellen's story. Ellen's own experiences with trauma led her to pursue a career as a therapist. She has been organizing group therapy sessions for Final Girls for several years now, and has been meeting with this particular group for just over a year at this point. Mary's story. Mary's a surgeon who specializes in body modification. Connecting with her work after her trauma motivated her to work through a lot of the emotional and a lot of the physical and emotional issues that resulted from it. And I screwed up that part because I always do that. <laughs> Carrie's story. Carrie dealt with some terrible bullying in high school and suffered a psychotic break as a result. But after years of treatment, she has made a life for herself that she feels good about. Jay starts struggling to recover after dealing with the stalker. She finds solace in her writing. However, she has one published novel and she's working on a second right now. Laurie was attacked while babysitting many years ago. Since then, she has gotten her teaching credential and become a high school English teacher. She really enjoys her work and is fairly content with her life, although she still occasionally has nightmares about her attacker. Welcome everyone. Uh, okay, we're gonna start off. Okay, so the, this is how it works. Uh, we ask every character about, uh, I'm sorry for clapping. Uh, we ask everyone about their week, uh, see what they've done. Uh, but today we're gonna start out with, well, right now we're gonna start off with uh, Jay. Jay's story contains content that might be difficult for some players, particularly if you suffer from PTSD and sometimes experience traumatic flashbacks or have had to deal with the stalker. You may skip this content with no penalty if you choose. Okay, we're going to continue. How did your week go, Jay? Oh, you know, up and down. Just your average week for someone with PTSD. Actually, this week was really stressful. I had a complete meltdown and I feel really bad about it. At least I got some writing done. I could talk about that. Otherwise, there is that horrible movie and everything that followed. Yuck. Uh, let's talk about her writing. Oh, that was loud. Uh, despite everything else that went on, I did manage to get some writing done. I feel pretty good about that. That's great. Do you want to tell us about it? Okay, but let me know if I'm starting to ramble. I sometimes don't notice until it's too late that people's eyes are glazing over. Jay smiles. I think it's fascinating. You're so creative. It always impresses me. Jay blushes. Thank you. That's really kind. It's the truth, though. Yes, I'm really curious. And I think I might have missed you talking about it last time because I had a scheduling conflict. Do you mind telling us again what you're working on? Well, it's a science fiction novel about a woman who's the pilot of a spaceship on a scouting mission. The rest of the crew are in a cryo sleep and the ship's AI awaits her in intervals to check on. Uh, I actually can't read that last story because I don't know why, like, my screen will not go up. Ah, uh, let me see. Oh, to check on their course. Okay. Yeah, that's as far as I can get. It. My screen is really tiny. A lot of it is just her talking to the AI and thinking about a lover she left behind. I'm not going to spoil it, but one of the questions left unanswered though, most of the story, is why. This week I ended up writing a particularly emotional passage talking about her previous relationships. It was oddly soothing after the rest of the stress of the week. I can't wait to read it. Carrie's so, uh, uh, enthusiastic about everything. Uh, neither can I. Thank you, that's really kind. Uh, I hope they aren't disappointed if they actually do end up reading it. People always say that, but they seldom actually follow through in my experience. Uh, let's talk about going to the movies. Oh my god, that is so freaking loud in my ear right now. 
So I went on a date this week with this pretty cute guy. His name's Nate. Don't trust a Nate. Uh, nice. How did it go? At first it was pretty great. We went to dinner and had a nice conversation. That's always a good sign. But things went kind of sideways when we got to the movie. I really wish I had looked at the movie before we went. Uh oh. What happened? We went to see It Pursues. That sounds really familiar. I can't think of what film it is. Carrie looks puzzled. Oh no. Um, it turns out that movie reminded me way too much of what happened with my stalker. So I ended up telling Nate I wasn't feeling well part way through the movie and asking if we can leave. How did he take it? Honestly, I think he was probably pretty annoyed, though he didn't show it. Especially when I told him I just wanted to go home. I just couldn't bring myself to tell him what was going on. Yeah, it's always really hard to figure out who you can trust with these kinds of things. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Should I have explained it? I think it would have been really awkward. We only just met, and I was a terrible weepy mess when I finally got home. Uh, I think you should tell him, or no, it's too soon to talk about it. Uh, sometimes it is too soon. You don't want to tell everyone what's going on. I mean, I would personally, I would not do that. I think that would be too awkward for me to just throw out everything to the open. But if some people want to do that, that's fine. Uh, but no, I think it's too soon. Oh, that's fucking loud. I don't think I'm ready to tell him, but I'm curious to see what the others think. I don't think you have to tell anyone anything you're not ready to talk about. What do you think? How would I have felt to tell him? Honestly, I really think it's too soon. I'm not sure I'm interested enough in him yet to know whether I want to go into that with him. That sounds wise. How do you know when to bring this stuff up with people? I feel like I always bring it up too soon because I just want to get everything out and up front right away. It was quite a while before I told my girlfriend. Fortunately, I didn't have any panic attacks when she was around until we've been together several months. I think the most important thing is when you feel comfortable talking about it with them. Yeah, that makes sense. And I just don't feel ready to talk to him about it yet. So don't. There's nothing wrong with waiting until you're ready. That's right. Let's talk about our meltdown, I guess. I actually had a really hard week. That whole thing with the movie just freaked me out and I felt awful for days afterwards. I just felt so completely stressed out and anxious like I was dealing with my stalker again. I couldn't bring myself to go out or anything. Thankfully, I had food in the house, though I mostly didn't feel like eating either, but I totally would have started rather than go out. I had really awful nightmares too. I feel really bad, like I should have been able to handle it better. We've all been there, Jay. The rest of the group nods sympathetically. I still have terrible nightmares, all the time. Sometimes they're so bad that all I can do after I wake up is lie in bed all day feeling bad. Does it ever get any better? Yes and no. It never goes away completely, but it gets easier. It happens less often and you start to recover more quickly. Ugh, I wish it would go away forever. Yeah, I get you. I wish that too. But it's not something you should be down on yourself for. And it definitely does get easier. Jay nods. And it sounds like you still got a lot of writing done. That's true. Actually, writing was really helpful. When I'm writing, I kind of forget about the anxiety and fear. Everyone nods. Yeah, work gets me through a lot of the time too. Maybe later we can talk about other things that might help. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds like it could be helpful. Which is really good because sometimes to cope with things you need to find something to do. Uh, for me, I write... Um, 
I write a lot, actually, now that I think about it. And if anybody hears that, that's uh, me drinking a bottle of uh, Smirnoff Ice Hurricane Punch that I bought like a month ago. Uh, but no, yeah, um, I guess to cope with things, it's um, you usually find different tasks to do. Something that makes it enjoyable, something that helps you forget about it momentarily. Okay, uh, Jay's done talking, and so am I. Uh, we're going to talk with Mary, because I don't know who the fuck Mary is. I don't know who Jay is either. <coughs> Mary's story contains content that might be difficult for some players, especially if you have been dealing with relationship problems lately. I like the warning sign. I hope you can see. Oh, the game is recording, because I can't look at OBS uh, while it's recording, or else it freezes my game. Uh, you may skip this content with no penalty if you choose. So, here's hoping it fucking works. Uh, we're going to continue with Mary's story. You had a show this week, right, Mary? How did it go? Do I tell them how nervous I was? Or just how well things went? Ugh, I don't want to talk about Richard. I'm still so angry at him. Where do I start? Uh, let's talk about the show. My show went really well. Janelle is a fantastic photographer, really talented, and she did a really good job capturing what my work was. She did a really good job capturing what my work meant to my clients. I don't know if you told us. I don't know if you told us about this last week, but I'm really curious about how this all got set up. Well, I gave her a list of my clients who expressed interest in being her subjects. Then she emailed them a list of interview questions, and after they responded to that, she set up a time to photograph them. That sounds awesome. It really was. She sent me copies of everyone's responses and then sat down with me to review the photos and say which ones to include in the show. Did your clients get any input? Oh yes. After she and I selected the photos we liked, we sent them back to my clients for review. Most of the time they agreed with our choices, but a few of them preferred different photos. Of course, we respected their wishes and used the photos they requested. Uh, let's ask who, about the show. Was the show well received? I was so worried about what kind of response I would get. Mostly yes. Of course, there were the usual naysayers who believed that the world would be better off without my work. But BME had a full spread on the show using some of Janelle's photos, so that was great. Uh, let's ask who came to her show. Uh, ooh, we got options. Mom or Richard? Uh, let's talk about mom. Well, my mom showed up, Mary Lass. That was a big surprise. Oh, yeah, I bet. She's always pretending not to know what you do, right? Oh, shit. Uh, she's always tried to be supportive without actually acknowledging my work. Okay, the last time I played this, I didn't go through most of the options, so some of this is brand new to me. But this time, she came to my reception and actually said some really positive things about it. That's excellent. What kinds of things did she say, if you don't mind sharing? She said she could see how what I did meant a lot to people and brought them happiness. She even said that some of them looked good, which really surprised me. If only Richard could have been half as supportive. Who's Richard? Who's Dick? I guess I should tell them about Richard. It's not much of a support group if you don't actually try and get support, right? There is one really disappointing thing that happened. Mary takes a deep breath. And let me take a drink real quick. Richard didn't come to the reception. What? I hope he had a good excuse. Mary sighs. Not really. At first he told me he got caught up in work and forgot. But when I told him how disappointed and upset I was. Mary hesitates. It's okay, Mary. Take your time. Thank you. He said he felt sort of pressure to come. Like it was a homework assignment or something. What kind of bullshit excuse is that? That made me really mad. I don't know how I even continued the conversation with him at that point. And then he told me that I couldn't expect him to be there for everything just because he's my boyfriend. 
oh my god, that's that's kind of a shitty thing to say. I understand maybe. Uh, so, uh, I know sometimes you don't want to do stuff, um, but if your partner wants you to be there, you should maybe consider being there. Um, but like at first when he said made up that stupid said about work, uh, that might have been reasonable, but no, not when he said it fucking feels like a fucking assignment. Uh, okay, uh, let's continue. And that if I was going to be upset and disappointed every time he didn't show up for something, this wasn't going to work out. This is some bullshit. Fuck him. Fuck that dick. So I dumped him. Oh shit, yes, you go, Mary. Good for you. What a jerk. Uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that, especially for your first big show. Yeah, I'm really angry and disappointed, but better I find out now than later, I guess. I wonder if I'll ever meet someone I can actually count on. Who knows? Wow, that really sits. He sounded so sweet and charming too. That was hard, but I'm really glad I told them. Yeah, I don't know what his deal is, really. But I'm still really pleased about the show. And I'm glad to I have all of you to talk to about it. Uh, let's talk about her anxiety. It's hard to talk about this, but I need to try. I was actually really nervous about doing the show. What were you worried about? Well, Mary laughs. At first I was worried that my clients wouldn't want to... I can't read the rest of that. I'm sorry, I can't read it. Uh, Yeah, there's no way I can read it. It was a huge relief when so many of them not only said yes, but seemed really excited about it. That was great. Mary smiles. Is she smiling? Is she... I was also really worried about how the show would be received. A lot of people really don't like my work and say terrible things about me and my clients. It's really hard to just ignore that, you know? I wasn't wrong. We did get some of the feedback. But overall, uh, overall the reception was really positive, I think. And we're done with Mary. I don't really have anything else I want to say about this week. Does anyone else want to talk about how their week went? Uh, let's talk with Carrie. My week was really great. Very hectic, but I'm feeling good about things. She's so enthusiastic. I, that makes me happy. I enjoyed Carrie. Carrie was a good movie. Uh, both the, um, uh, the original version and the TV remake with the, what's her face? I can't think of it. I can't think of who's in it. Uh, but the one that was recently released with what's her face, Chloe Grace Moritz, that was that was shit. That was a shit film. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about the catering business because Carrie apparently caters. My catering business is really taking off. I feel like I hardly had time to breathe this week. That's great. Did you have a lot of events this week or just one big one? I had a wedding and a couple of smaller events, so it was really hectic. I had to hire staff for the wedding too, which I've only done a few times before, but it mostly worked out fine. Mostly? Well, the groom turned out to be really finicky, but no one had said anything to me about it beforehand, so I had to put together something special for him at the last minute. Fuck that groom! The bride was really apologetic, poor thing. I felt kind of sorry for her. But I think he was mollified eventually. And the other events, how did they turn out? Oh, they were fine. Mostly the usual business dinners and lunches, fairly standard. Who knew that all that cooking I was doing to self-soothe would eventually turn into a career for me? That must feel really good. Yeah, it does. I feel really proud of myself that it's working out so far. It's not easy, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, let's talk about gardening. We're going to save the girlfriend for the last bit. Despite everything being so hectic, I managed to add a few more plants to the garden. Nice. I have such a black thumb. It's really great to hear not everyone does. What kind of plants? Well, I got some heirloom tomatoes and a few more herbs. 
I'm still not quite sure about the pH of the soil there, but we'll see. Do you have any decorative plants or are you focusing on things you can eat? Mostly things you can eat, for now. It was my love of cooking that one and wanting to have fresh herbs on hand that motivated me to try my hand at gardening in the first place. Gardening is really fun. I really do recommend it. Um, before our garden, which shit, we had uh, strawberries, um, I think green onions, and... I don't remember what else. Lettuce? No, no, no. We had a, cab a giant... It was a really fucking giant cabbage we used to have. And uh, I think cilantro and... Uh, I don't remember what else. We used to have a bunch of herbs, too. But it's really fun. I, re I do recommend gardening. But if the kitchen garden does well, I might think about planting something ornamental. That's so fantastic. Let's talk about our girlfriend. How are things with Lindsay? Things are pretty good, though we're still adjusting to living together. Oh, that's right. You just moved in together, didn't you? How long ago was that? It's been a couple of weeks now, I mean. We've been dating for a couple of years, so I think we were in agreement that the time was right. But you never know what it's really like until it becomes a reality, Carrie smiles. But it's going pretty well. Do I tell them about the fight we had? It was such a trivial thing to fight over. Ah, uh, might as well. Oh, what the hell. Might as well talk about it. We did have a silly pedo... Uh, <laughs> We did have a silly, petty fight. Promise me y'all won't laugh, okay? Oh, come on. We all know how nonsensical fights happen in every relationship. Yeah, it's pretty normal. Okay, fine. But I still feel silly about it. Because in retrospect, it was just ridiculous. I'm sure it didn't help that I was really tired after the wedding. and still a little irritated about trying to get that groom fed. I just got in home and she asked me about the soap dispenser in the guest bathroom. She had a pretty nice one that I put in our bathroom, so I put my old one in the guest bathroom. But I totally forgotten about it, so at first I had no idea what she was talking about. I thought my old one was still in our bathroom and that she was pissed off about it for some reason. Was she angry? No, though she was sort of brusque. She told me later that she had been writing all day so her head was still half in writerland, so that was why she seemed angry with me. I don't think I'd really spent much time around her when she'd been writing before. She'd usually take time to transition out of writing headspace before we get together. Anyway, I snapped at her. I don't remember exactly what I said now, and then she started crying, which took me by surprise. I felt awful. Oh no, then what happened? Nothing really. I apologized and we explained what was going on with each of us, and then we kissed and made up. Aw, that's really sweet. It sounds like you resolved it pretty quickly. Yeah, I just felt kind of foolish for being snippy with her. and really surprised that she got so upset right away. But I understood it after she explained. Yeah, those sorts of minor conflicts are to be expected. Ugh. Those sorts of minor conflicts are to be expected when you adjust to a new level of commitment and intimacy. I've been doing pretty well up until now. <laughs> Carrie nods. I'm glad it was over so quickly. In the early days of our relationship, something like that would have probably led us to fighting for hours. And Carrie's done talking. Let's talk about Lori. My week has been really good. I'm taking an interesting class. I adopted a really cute dog from the shelter. And I was able to help a student with her problems. I feel a little guilty talking about how good my life has been. While I know some of the others are having a tough time. But maybe it's as important to talk about the good times as the bad. Yeah, that, that, that is really true. Because sometimes you do feel a little, like, a little guilt when somebody's having a bad time and you're having, like, the fucking time of your life. But that's just the way it is sometimes. And who knows, maybe it might make them feel a little bit happy that uh, you're happy. I mean, that's what people are supporting each other for, right? Uh, let's talk about the new puppy. I got a new puppy. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, he's really cute. And a troublemaker. What kind of dog is he? Did you get him from the shelter? 
Yeah, he's a rescue dog. Some kind of corgi mix. Whatever he is, he's really cute and very high energy. I hope he settles down when he gets a little older. You had a dog before, right? I still miss Olive. I wasn't sure about getting another dog after she died, but now I'm glad I did. Yes, her name was Olive. I still miss her, but I think it was time. What's the new puppy's name? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I named him Bugsy because he gets really excited whenever he sees but he sees a bug. He's a mighty fly hunter. Oh, wow, that's so fucking cute. I hope I can get a pet soon. It would be really nice to have a dog around. He sounds adorable. Uh, let's talk about uh the class. So I'm wrapping up that class. I'm taking another week or two. This is the one you need to take to keep up your teaching credential, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Sometimes they end up being pretty terrible and boring, but this one is actually pretty interesting, I think. What's it about? It's about the effects of trauma on learning, so you can see why it would be personally relevant. Ellen smiles. Oh yes, I can see that. Have you talked about any of your experiences in the context of class? It's always so hard to talk about my own trauma in a professional context. I worry about how it might change how people see me if they knew what I went through. Yes, actually. I ended up writing about it for our most recent assignment. It was kind of hard, but ultimately helpful, I think. Oh yeah, I can imagine. How did the instructor respond? She is really positive and supportive. She thanked me for sharing something so personal and said that she imagined it was probably difficult to talk about. She also said she thought my experiences would make me a better supporting, uh, better supporting at, uh, better supporting any of my students who had been traumatized because I would be able to relate to them. That's definitely been true for me in my work, but it's important to keep in mind that you will have to do extra work to take care of yourself, which is also very much true. Taking care of others and taking care of yourself is very important. While it can be very healing to connect with people who share those experiences with you, it can also be really exciting and sometimes triggering. Also true. Laurie nods. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's talk about her student. How was work this week? Work was good, though we're approaching the end of the semester so some of my students are feeling pretty stressed out. They're going to be turning in their paper soon, so I'm going to be in grading hell for a bit. What do you have them writing about? I let them choose two of the books we read this semester to compare and discuss how they connect them with the themes. Hopefully they don't all choose the same books. Do I tell them about the problem Jennifer came to me about? Uh, Jennifer's body. I've never seen that movie. Uh, talk about Jennifer. One of my students came to me with the problem she's dealing with. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's terrible. She's being bullied by some of the other girls. They wrote some really nasty stuff about her on the walls of one on... Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> they wrote some really nasty stuff about her on the walls of one of the girls' bathrooms. Ah, uh, that's awful. What did you tell her? Well, it's hard, you know. I tried to encourage her to go to administration about it, but she said that would make it worse. Which is probably true, unfortunately. We also discussed talking to the girls who were doing it, but it doesn't sound like that was a good option either. I also had offered to talk to them myself and she said she would think about it. Mostly I just listened and told her that what they were doing wasn't right and she doesn't deserve it. I wish I'd had a teacher like Glory when I was in high school. I hope it doesn't get any worse for her. Yeah, me too. If it continues, I'm going to see if we can talk about going to mediation or something. I'm considering reaching out to the other girl's parents to see what's going on there, hopefully without tipping them off that she came to me. She and I are going to meet with her counselor this week to discuss the situation. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, I hope it helps. And Lori's done talking. Everyone is done talking about their weeks. It sounds like most of you have talked about what you wanted to discuss today. I was thinking that to wrap up, we could talk about our self-care strategies. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. 
How about you, Carrie? Would you mind starting us off by telling us what about... <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Uh, how about you, Carrie? Would you mind starting us off by telling us about what kinds of things work for you? Sure, though. I'm in a ca Sure, though I'm in a kind of a weird place right now around that. Cooking was a big form of self-care for me, but now that I got the catering business, it's not quite the same. That is why I started the garden, though. I thought it might be a good substitute. We'll see, though. It's still a very new thing. Yes, I can see how that might be a challenge. Anyone else? Jay, how about you? I go running sometimes, though it's hard when my anxiety, anxiety makes it difficult to leave the house. Writing is a big one for me. I keep a journal, but working on my novel helps too sometimes. Work sometimes helps. Grading papers can be monotonous, but it's also soothing. Otherwise, I like to do my nails and watch cartoons. Cartoons? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like the old Disney animated movies or Animaniacs. Anything light, or sin anything light and silly makes me feel better. I think walking the new puppy or playing with him will also help. What about you, Mary? What works for you? Reading old medical texts, going to the gym, shopping for new clothes also works sometimes. I have friends that I talk to, also. Some of them are clients who I've known bef since before I was dead, so I don't have to explain anything to them. Just tell them I'm having a hard time. Yes, reaching out to get support from people in our lives can be really important. Well, our time is just about up. Have a good week, everyone, and thank you for coming. Here's a breakdown for the points you were awarded for Mary's story. You chose for Mary to open up about her anxiety, 10 points. You chose for her to open up about her breakup with Richard, another 10. And to open up about how she felt about her mom coming to her show, another 10, so that's 30 in total. Awesome. Oh my god, this is going to be a while. <laughs> uh, Jay, story. Talk about her writing, 10 points. Uh, talk about how, why she didn't want to tell Nate about her stalker, another 10. And to open up about uh, how she was triggered and had a hard time dealing with it, another 10. Another 30, so we're up to 60. Uh, for Carrie, we got 10 points for... I'm already knowing this. I had 10 points for her creating business. Another 10 for her garden. And lastly, for the fight, another 10 points. So that would be 90. And then for Lori, opening up about her class, 10 points. Uh, talking about her student, 10 points. And to talk about how she feels about getting uh, the new dog, Bugsy, uh, 10 points. So that's 120, I believe. And that is Final Girls. I'll probably have to turn down the audio because it's really loud for me and I can't hear myself talk. Um, but yeah, this was this is interesting. This has been this was new for me. I think I think it took some thought into planning how to properly write how each of the final girls were affected by whichever movie they start in. Uh, I only don't know Halloween and Carrie. Like, I don't know the other two, to be honest. But uh, yeah, this this was enjoyable. And if you want to play, I will leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. Until then, I will see you all in the next video. Just remember to have fun, be safe, and enjoy yourself.